Um, I never really quite know how I want people to introduce me, because introductions are a funny thing. Because people always introduce me as what they find the most interesting. So, uh, like my colleagues at NASA, they always introduce me by saying, she's a science comedian. <laughs> my comedy friends always introduce me as, she works at NASA. <laughs> Uh, last week, my undergrad chemistry professor introduced me to all of his current students as she was a chemistry major three years ago, and she's and she's not still in grad school. <laughs> I thought that was a great success. Um, but my favorite way. And I heard that one. Thank you. Uh, but my favorite way to introduce myself is by saying that I fill the unknown demand of Indian female comics from West Virginia. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> this lady up here goes to the one that made it out. <laughs> I was born and brought up there, and as you guys can imagine, there are not a lot of Indians in West Virginia. <laughs> Has anyone uh, here been to West Virginia? <laughs> You guys make me so happy. <laughs> as I can say, though, as I said, there are not a lot of Indians in West Virginia. Like, I was the only one in my high school. There used to be two of us, but then my brother graduated. <laughs> and to be honest, like, I didn't actually know what I was growing up. Like, I just thought I was a really tan white person. <laughs> like, I stayed in my mom's womb a little too long and came out, like, medium well. <laughs> I also thought like I also thought like really pale redheads came out of the womb like way too early. <laughs> um, I remember one time though, one of my classmates asked me, "So Kasha, are you mixed?" <laughs> I didn't know what that meant. <laughs> I was like in fourth grade. <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, I am." Uh, Half of my jeans are for my mom. <laughs> the other half are for my dad. And no, they're not related. <laughs> um, but it does kind of bother me because West Virginia does have a lot of bad stereotypes. Um, and people overlook all the really great things about that state. For instance, West Virginia is ranked number one with uh, people with the highest cholesterol. <laughs> Which to me means West Virginians have the biggest hearts. <laughs> uh, so I am a science writer during the day. Uh, and basically all that means is I just read a lot of other people's work and read up on science. And I learned that one out of five millennials think that vaccines cause autism. Which to me means one out of five millennials don't know what autism is. <laughs> the Pew Research study uh, also uh, did a survey where 80% of people think that science has improved their lives and their well-being and their eating habits. The other 20% are PhD grad students. <laughs> Scientists also figured out a way to unboil an egg, um, or as I like to call it, a reverse chicken abortion. <laughs> but it only works if you do it within the first couple minutes, uh, because otherwise you have to call it a reverse chicken murder. <laughs> Chickens. <laughs> I'm from West Virginia. If anyone's going to be offended about a chicken joke, it should be me. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll step off. I'll step off. Fine. Um, Apple's been on the news a lot with their little eye watch and like all this other <coughs> stuff that they're doing. Um, and I learned that Apple is actually helping their female employees freeze their eggs if they want. Not to be outdone, uh, Microsoft is offering all their female employees Cabbage Patch Kids. <laughs> uh, Apple is also trying to do autonomous cars. 
autonomous cars. Um, and as usual, you know, like Google's like way ahead of the curve, already having that out. And Microsoft is still trying to fix their internet browser. <laughs> um, I am single. I feel like that's a safe thing I can say here. How many of you guys are single here? None of those people that raised their hands were my age group. All right. <laughs> Nothing to you guys. Just Looking for a husband, it's cool. <laughs> Having a room full of scientists and science writers. Just... You know someone. <laughs> available. Um, I have been thinking about trying this whole online dating thing, though, because that seems to be pretty big. Um, oh. Are you on online dating? No, I have a boyfriend. <laughs> Uh, he saved me. I had an online date that didn't show up, and he saved me and walked me home. He is so embarrassed right now. <laughs> He's like, why is she talking to this person? <laughs> make it stop, make it stop. Well, you were very lucky then. Very lucky, sir. I'm very lucky. Uh, he was quiet this entire time. I was like, just make it stop. <laughs> make her stop looking at me. <laughs> it's fine, sir. It's fine, sir. All right, so I've been thinking about online dating. <laughs> I've been thinking about online dating for the same reason I feel like most girls do. Like, I'm just really tired of taking my birth control pills for no reason. <laughs> There's actually a uh, dating website, though, that matches people based on their DNA compatibility. But people are getting really upset because they keep getting matched up with chimpanzees. <laughs> Do you guys not like animal jokes? You like the You guys like run the chimpanzee joke. Come on, guys. It's fine. I like you guys. You guys are a fun crowd. 